what's up guys today i've just released a new plugin bundle for final cut pro the link is in the description if you want to check it out i'm going to go through a few of my favorite effects from this pack so i'm going to start off with this outline effect which i'm going to add to my video clip and this is going to add an offset outline effect and because this effect works on the edges of colors and contrast it tracks with the moving parts in the video and i just think it gives it a really cool effect. So up here you have the threshold which you can turn right up and it gives it more of like a sketch effect. And then you can also change the offset of this and the scale. And you can also change the color of the outline. So the other effects we have in this pack are this vertical film frame effect, kind of like vintage look with some lens burns and then also a film roll frame. And I think this one looks really good if you add the effect and then you can also change the scale. So it's like a frame within a frame. So the next one is the lens distortion. And this is just a really good effect to use on your whole project just to give it a sort of dreamy look. It stretches out the edges of your video clip and also adds a RGB split effect. So you can turn this up and really stretch out the edges of the video. This is also really good to use on GoPro footage. It gets rid of the fisheye and it will make GoPro footage look a lot better. And it kind of turns a boring shot into something that looks pretty cool. So now let's have a look at the transitions. First ones I'm gonna look at is this paper burn transition. It's gonna give it like a paper burn effect and burn through and show the next video clip. And there's also three different variations of this. We have a horizontal burn. And the good thing about these is that you can scale them up and change the direction to create different looks. So you're not really limited to the four presets that come in the pack. So another one of my favorites in this pack is the film roll transition. So I'll go ahead and add this in here and extend that out. Something that I like to do with transitions is layer them on top of each other. So if I go ahead and delete this and bring my video clip up here and up here, then I can add the transition to that one and also to this one. And you can have multiple transitions running at the same time. And it creates like a, a nice flow uh, within the video. Now let's have a look at the titles uh, that come in this pack. And one that I really like is this film poster title. And if you go up here to the parameters, then you can go in and change all of the little titles. You can change all of them in there as well as like the positioning. And then we also have this infinity loop title and also a gravity title. So I've also added a few LUTs into this pack and these are ones I've been using recently in my videos. We have this one, A12, A6, a little before and after. And then the Neil teal and orange one kind of just has like a washed teal and orange look to it, which I really like. And a quick little tip for color grading that I've been using recently when I'm using the LUTs is to open up the color board on the video clip and go to color and then use the midtones to change the temperature of the video clip. So if we just move the midtones up, you can see it gives it a really cool look to it. And if we move it down, then it gives it a warmer look. So depending on what you're going for, it's really good just to tweak the midtones um, to change the temperature of the image. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.